So we open with Gigi and Destiny getting fillers. So Gigi still ain't fucking with MJ. Oh, this shit looks painful. I ain't never doing this. I'll age. Well, actually, I won't because we don't. Oh, of course Gay Mike is gonna try to pull down Reza's pants. He's done it before. Reza, your marriage to Adam is hanging on by a thread because you ain't shit. Also because Adam's really there for the coin. And I think he's sick of the show. And Mike's still trying to get MJ and Reza back together and it's time to leave it alone. Oh, Reza gonna apologize. MJ was just as shitty. I feel like y'all even. But you want to look like the better person. You want to have more of the plot line. And you want to be in control of her coming back in the group. I, I, I mean, I guess they can't get rid of her, but Lord knows they need to. Her and that nothing-ass husband. Carmen Ward in the chat said, MJ is dirty and looks like she's full of piss. You're right, Reza does look like a Persian Dracula. Okay, so Reza does the uh, apology text or let's have an apology meeting. They do that on this show. Like everything has to be text about first and then the meeting will actually happen. He called the cops on your husband because he went to his house and busted shit up. And things can get out of control when people do shit like that. So yeah, check somebody if they're gonna be violent against you or your property because that's just too much. Now, she got on all that makeup and she's still ugly. Oh God, he knew you almost died. You're gonna meet him? Yes. Yes, Tom, she is, because she's got to stay on the show, too. Nobody's fucking with her, and she's in a nini position right now. She's got to worm her way out. And I do mean worm. Or caterpillar. Oh, what's gay Nima doing? Child, it's sad when you get a white shirt, but it still ain't as white as, white as those chicklets you hanging on to. Okay, so Nima actually sounds like he knows what he's doing with his job, and he's invited everyone to his event. I, I wouldn't, you, you actually have a career. I wouldn't be bringing these messy folk around. Oh, a siren. Haven't heard one of those in a while. Girl, Sam is trying to get on the show by fucking destiny. She's been seeing him for too much. Yeah, for two months. Yeah, you've been seeing his crotch and not much else. And I think you're also just dating him to piss off Sarah. So she's booking a suite for him so they can be together for his birthday. He probably gonna stay with his sister and you gonna be out of some money. You gonna be in there with roses and, and a vibrator. Oh, he wanna get on the show. He brought her some roses. He also wants some puss too. God, he stays in a fuckboy uniform. Uh-huh, now we get the real reason. Sam's sister Sarah doesn't want me talking to her brother. Probably because she knows it's gonna end in tears and then she's like, I'm trying to be in the friend group and once the shit goes bad with my brother, I'm still gonna have to look at your ass. I don't know, it might work, a fuck boy and a fuck girl together. Oh, Sarah doesn't know. Oh, Destiny wants to stay on the show too. She said, let me come at you with a good mid-season plot line and some reunion fodder. Oh, MJ on her way to meet Reza. Will it be another yelling match? I don't know, I don't think she's ready to accept the apology. I think she's going to twist the knife. So Reza starts with an Hermes pink peace offering for the baby and, and, and MJ gives a very dry, thank you. Reza, did you just put on sunglasses and, and get your Kermit the Frog tear voice going, but you put them glasses on because you didn't have your glycerin drops with you to fake it till you make it. You don't like this heifer. So now we go through all the fighting that MJ and Reza have done over the seasons. And yeah, it is, I'm sorry, I care. And it's just bullshit for the show. But you gotta play the game so you can have a plot line and a paycheck. I couldn't do them love-hate friendships either. I was over with that shit in what? The eighth, ninth grade? That, that's when you did that shit with your friends. I, no, like either you fuck with me or you don't. Ain't no in-between and ain't no compartmentalization. Oh God. Reza going through why he didn't respond to the text because of the Ollie shit and he had this stack of papers. I mean, that was definitely a setup. So MJ's like, look, I, I don't care what Ollie told me. But then he's like, well, child, Destiny's telling me the story too and we know Destiny ain't shit. So when everybody's telling the same story and you're saying something different, it look odd. Mm-hmm. Destiny said, you need to ask MJ. She knows. And you knew that that was messy as fuck. 
Reza whining about the ripple effect of the shit she pulled because now the marriage is fucked up. I mean, the truth is it just exposed that there wasn't love there no way because if I'm with somebody and you say something like that, I'll be like, oh, oh, and... MJ is pissed. You can tell she's pissed because she's not getting the apology and she's still being called to the carpet. And if there's one thing she doesn't like to take, it's responsibility. Whoa, 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 whoa. Make it make sense. Whoa, 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 whoa. Reza, I am getting tired of your lies and I'm getting tired of MJ's thighs. What the fuck? Did you just say? You just said, I've been in the darkest time of my life without you. However, this is the same woman who knew shit and was causing shit with the ripple effect you were just whining about 15 seconds ago. Make it make sense. Now we've got the why didn't you call me? Why didn't you call me? Reza, why, why, you, you can't have the voice with the cry and the vibrato if you ain't gonna have a tear. See, the voice ain't matching the eye, cause the eye dry. Dry as this shit be getting to me. Okay, now Maris is saying a whole bunch of other shit. Every, none of it is her fault. Everybody lying on her. Everybody lying on Reza. But, you know, she's the one who's falling on her sword and, you know, the birth and the mirth. Oh, MJ said, yeah, I, I am happy my husband fucked up your landscaping. Oh, God. Both of these non-ass actors trying to give us emotion. MJ just sitting there, mm. And Reza, you're overacting and underacting all at the same time. So he says he's forgiven Tommy and he ain't gonna pursue no charges. He just want to get the group back together so y'all can fight about something new. Rez out here begging for hugs from this tired heifer. All right, all right, all right. At least this shit's over. Meanwhile, across town, the fuck boy and the fuck girl go out for steak. This is a lot of romance for a jump off. Y'all, y'all do not need to be fucking in the damn dining room. Tacky boo. He is trying to give character, though. This is his audition. We gonna see... Ooh, and he's Sarah's brother, too. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. This is rife with good drama. I'm here for it. Okay, now he's just acting crazy. I think he a little high. Like, I mean, look at that hair. That hair screams... Amphetamines. I mean, who... Ooh, you know what? The way he rubbed her head, ecstasy. He is rolling. 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 Rolling in the restaurant. Ooh, that hair color also screams your best friend, Tina. That tea, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that blonde is just, that's a druggy blonde. <laughs> that's what it is. Girl, you know he's on something. It just kicked in a little early. But y'all be popping them same pills rolling around in the bed together. The way Nima speaks when he's working, I would trust him to run my event. Oh God, now Nima's gonna try to produce the group's reconciliation. Mike, how you gonna say somebody looks like a gay cowboy when you're wearing the handkerchief system? Okay. Miss Crawford said Nima needs to produce those teeth. That must suck because I know that shit was not like, I know that shit was painful and so you can't go back and get it redone. I mean, you could, but that was probably a good 80 grand. So he's just like, I gotta, I gotta deal with him and try to like him. You could tell in his face he's really trying to like those chiclets. Maybe if he just, I'd say if he got a little more lip, but I don't know. I think he need to go see a dietician or something and get his skin complexion together. Yup, those teeth are overproduced. Ha! Child, I think Sam's sister got wind of this shit and maybe drugged Sam. Or Sam's sister just knew and didn't want, oh, Sarah didn't want Destiny to know about Sam's passion for pills. They say she got her confessional outfit from Carol Baskin. Cat print. Cat print. Okay, so we're on our way, of course, in the limo van so everybody can talk. And it's quickly become a bash MJ session. Reza knows how to keep the shit going. He says, so GJ, when was the last time you saw MJ? You know she don't want to see her. You know she ain't looking forward to it. GG, right. Gay Mike asked her why she don't like G MJ. And it's because MJ ain't shit and she said as much. 
Oh, and now it's maternity surgery to maternity surgery. So G so MJ won't be able to lord that over Gigi. Gay Nima, if you could just unbutton this collar, you might actually look decent. Okay, the VIP the VIP tin is cute. Child, MJ is uncomfortable. I guess she was really going to say, you know, you weren't there for me. And I went through all this and her plans were just shot to shit. And she's also like, nobody in the group told me. And that's why. That's why, girl, they plotted against your ass. I think she realizes she's about to be cold to the carpet. Ooh, Mike confronts MJ. Did you know about this supposed naked Jenga? Ooh, Mike said, I want to know who I'm homies with. Are we a bunch of fucking liars? He's like, look, y'all call me out. Now I'm going to call you. That's a fuck. I got your number. You got my number. I got yours. Oh, Mike is telling the truth. He's like, we all know who Ollie is. And he's going to tell you everything that's going on. So, girl, you knew. And you encouraged it. Mike is hammering her for the truth. And she can't handle the truth. Oh, she said, my hands are not clean. Well, your whole body looked dirty. So she finally fessed after Mike and got her ass. He was like, no, ain't, ain't nobody buying your bullshit. And now she's giving the apology Reza gave yesterday, but I'm glad Reza called her on her shit, but let it go. We finally got some accountability. Uh-huh, that was the biggest backpedal and pussy pop of the season. Ooh, when she said, you and I are going to be friends again, Gigi went. Then again, Gigi always kind of looked like that all that surgery. And the shit in with the GG health scare, but we know she ended up fine and pregnant, so we don't even need to worry about that. Let's see, what should we watch next?